What we have here is a very dirty and non-functional MD421-2, a microphone that has been around since 1960 and is still being produced today, albeit in an updated version with a different connector. This one we guess is around 50 years old, that's why it's not using an XLR connector, which would be standard today, instead it is using a Großtuhl connector, so you can't just easily connect it to an interface without some adapter. We tried to do some more digging before this video and even tried contacting Sennheiser to ask about a rough production date of this specific serial number. Sadly, we didn't get any answer, so we are stuck with guessing the age. On this specific example, there was an adapter completely stuck on the plug. However, I got angry at it and simply cut it off after more delicate methods to remove it didn't work. Now, before we restore this antique piece of tech, we have to properly disassemble it. The first step is to get out the little metal plate that has the model and serial number stamped in. Under there, we can find a hidden screw. If we get that one off, the connector basically slides right off the base of the microphone. Now, just disconnect the cables. In this case, they were already loose, which would explain why this mic didn't work properly, and get out the nut holding the metal cage on top of the microphone. Then it should slide right off. Now it is disassembled as far as we need it. The cleaning process is fairly simple. Just use some cleaning alcohol, paper towels and q-tips. Thoroughly clean the outsides and all the edges. You don't really have to do anything on the inside because dirt doesn't really have a way to get in there unless the microphone has been opened before. In case you haven't already, please consider pressing the like button and subscribing to our channel. We will work hard to bring you more quality tech content to enjoy. If you want to join our community, we have also created a Discord server. You can find the link in the video description. Now, due to the plastic these are made of, which over the course of 50 years can get brittle, these crack easily due to fitting extremely tight around the metal plug. In case that you find this cracking very unattractive, the solution would be to simply make a new case, which is just what we did here. We 3D printed a new case from carbon fiber reinforced plastic, which should hold up just as well or even better than the original. This new housing works almost exactly as well as the original, however it is more in line with the new ones you will find on more newly produced MD421 that are also black and made from fiberglass. Although I must say that the old case with its scratches and patina has its own kind of charm. Now we just have to put it back together. First we have to solder the wires back to the connector as they were the reason this microphone wasn't functioning anymore. After that is done, we just do the disassembling but backwards. And now we have saved a very well functioning mic and piece of history from the garbage bin. Thank you all for watching.